Hello, my name is Matthew Jasky. I'm a real estate broker, and over the last 10 years, I've helped my clients complete thousands of home repairs. Just the other day, I went and met with a client. Um, she woke up that morning to make her coffee and found her kitchen floor was completely flooded. I'm sure you have a story like this, and if you don't, you will someday. They can be very traumatic and very expensive. I want to teach you some simple things about your household plumbing so you can at least turn off the water. If you are on public water, the primary shutoff for your water will be in the meter box. Inside, you will find a transmitter to submit your readings on the meter, a valve closest to the street, a meter, and then a valve to turn off the entire property. The valve on the left is the utility side. If you forget to pay your bills, there'll be a lock on that. After that's the meter and then the property cutoff. You can use a plumber's key such as I have in the video here to turn that off if necessary. Here's your secondary shutoff. It's typically going into the structure. Um, on the right, I have a fire suppression system. You probably don't have that. Coming up from the ground is a pressure regulator, followed by the next pipe to the left is a drip system for the plants. Uh, right there is your secondary shutoff below the pipe entering the wall of the structure. If you're going on vacation or leaving the house, or even if you have a problem with the leak inside, you can just come out and turn this valve off. I have a quarter turn ball valve. I'm gonna slowly turn it a quarter of the way and then release the pressure by opening the spigot above it. After the pressure has been released, I'll go ahead and close that spigot. Then when you come back to turn it back on, you'll want to slowly open the valve so that you don't create a pressure spike, which is bad for plumbing systems. Each fixture in your residence will have a shutoff of its own. This particular shutoff is a push-pull shutoff. Push to turn it off, pull to turn it back on. This is a quarter turn ball valve shutoff for a toilet. You want to pay especially close attention to toilets. They have a tendency to run water if your float is not functioning properly and pour it right down the drain. So if you hear water running in your bathroom, it's likely the reservoir for your toilet. And you'll want to turn this valve off until you can have it repaired. In my career, I've seen tens of thousands of dollars in damage from the toilet feed line to the reservoir, as well as these lines going to the washing machine. They have a shut off as well. In case you have a problem, you can turn them off right there at the wall. We're back at the meter box. Here's how you troubleshoot plumbing issues in your property. Turn the water on for your primary and secondary so your structure is getting water and then go inside and turn off all of the fixtures then have an assistant watch this meter turn on one fixture at a time and have them tell you when the meter starts to move like it is here then you found your issue Again, my name's Matthew Jeske, and I don't think there's another agent out there that understands the systems of a house as well as I do. If you know one, point them out, and then I stand corrected. Most importantly, make sure you share this with your friends and family. You will be their hero if you save them from tens of thousands of dollars in water damage simply because you showed them how to turn off the water in their house.